Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix when a vowed game is stuttering, freezing, lagging, or you have FPS drop on your PC. First of all, you want to open up your avowed and make sure that on graphics and settings, window mode is windowed and not windowed full screen. Just go ahead and choose that. Now you can go ahead and close the game. Now, if you're using Steam, you're going to open up Steam. If you're using Xbox, like I do, then you're going to open up Xbox. And what you want to do is go ahead and restart it. Another thing you can quickly try out is go ahead and just restart your PC and check if the problem persists. Uh, now you also want to go and update your windows before you restart your PC. Once you will update it, you can go ahead and restart. Now, if none of that work, you want to open up a run. And here you want to go ahead and write down gpedit.msc and then click OK. Now here you want to go ahead to computer configuration, then administrative templates, then Windows components. Then you want to find app privacy and at the bottom you will see let Windows apps run in the background. You want to go ahead and edit this policy. And you want to make sure that it is enabled and the user control is force deny. Then click apply and OK. Now another thing to try out is open up your settings, go to gaming. And on, uh, here you want to make sure that game mode is enabled so it will optimize your PC for playing. Now if you are using Steam, you're going to uh, write down uh, it in the search bar. And then you want to run it as administrator just like so. Uh, now. You want to go to your Steam or Xbox, you want to find a WoWed and then you want to go ahead and click on manage on these three dots and manage and then on the files you want to browse. Now once this will open up, you want to open up a WoW, then content, then you're going to go to Alabama, uh, binaries, win GDK and then you're going to find a WoWed win GDK shipping file. So I want to go ahead and open the properties of it. And on here, you want to go to compatibility. Now you want to try out a few things. First of all, run this program as administrator, then apply and OK and try to launch it. If that didn't fix the problem, you want to also disable full screen optimizations. Run this program in compatibility mode to either Windows 7 or 8. And after that, you also want to change high DPI settings. You want to override it and choose application option. Click OK and then apply and OK. Now, if that didn't really impact the problem and then it fix it, you want to go ahead and update your uh, graphics card. So, for example, I use NVIDIA. So just open up NVIDIA app or AMD app, whichever you're using, and you just go ahead and update your drivers here. So you will find the drivers here and if there's any available, you want to go ahead and download, download them right there. Now you want to go ahead and open up your control panel. For example, I use Nvidia. And on control panel, you're going to go to 3D settings, configure surround and physics. And here you want to set not CPU, but GPU if you have it basically to have a high performance. Now, after this, you want to write down on search of power options or edit power plan. On edit power plan, you're going to uh, click power options right there. And here you may see ultimate performance or high performance. You want to go ahead and choose it. Now you will need to do a few things. Uh, so first of all, um, open up view advanced system settings control panel uh, this will open up system properties you want to go ahead to advanced then, then performance and then click settings here you want to choose custom and what you want to do is make sure that save taskbar uh, shadow save task or preview, previews then uh, thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts are selected. Now, while you're still here, you want to go ahead advanced options here and virtual memory. Then you're going to click change and then you're going to unselect this one. Then custom, you're going to write down the custom size. And here you will need to enter, um, calculate a few things. So first of all, you need to know 
uh, how many RAMs you have. So for example, on uh, I have 16 RAMs. So what you want to do is open up your calculator and just calculate 16 times uh, 1024. So this is if you have 16, if you have more or less, you're going to calculate the same. And after that, just um, uh, times 1.5. And this number should be written here in the initial size. And on maximum size, you want to go ahead, write down your RAMs, then times 1024, and then times three. And after that, you're going to write this number down on maximum size, just like so. And then you're going to click OK. Now you want to open up your graphics settings and on graphics settings, you want to go ahead and add your game here. So a out right there. If you cannot find it here, then you need to add a desktop. So for me, it would be Xbox games, a wow, content, Alabama binaries. Now, once you will add it, you will see this GPU preference and you want to choose high performance. Now, what you also want to do is go to Steam or Xbox. And then here on these settings, you want to verify and repair game files. Now, another thing to do is go ahead and delete all temporary files. So here on run, you want to write on percent and temp percent, then click OK. And you want to go ahead and delete everything from here and then delete it. Now you want to also open up your uh, settings on system. So here on system, you want to go ahead and choose storage. And on storage, you want to find temporarily files, open them up. And here you want to delete everything instead of downloads. So just wait a little bit for it to load and just select basically everything and also recycle bin. And that's pretty much it. You also want to try out the last thing is to go to task manager, uh, go to details, then find here your either game or for example, if you're using steam, open up steam. I'm just going to go ahead and try to find Xbox. And you want to go ahead and find the exe file. You want to go ahead, set priority to high. Now, if you're using Steam, you're going to open up Steam. I don't have it opened yet, but basically you're going to set the priority to high. Uh, you can also do this to a wow to file too and set priority to high. So if this video was helpful, guys, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.